Hey what's guys, welcome back to my channel, it's Kami, and yeah, so, in this video we're going to be doing a review on the Oon X8 Magic deck, so, yeah, it's what it looks like, up close, yeah, so, this is my second deck that I've owned, um, last deck I've ha I've used since 2018, so, it's been a while, but I think it's about time to finally upgrade. My last deck, <laughs> if you're wondering, was actually another Oon product. It was the XS1 10th year, 10th anniversary. So yeah, I bought this around 2018, like I said. I bought this on Mass Drop, if you guys are too young. Uh, Drop used to be called Mass Drop, and then they switched their names. I don't know why. Kind of kind of dumb. I, I you know, I, I like Mass Drop the name better. And I kept it ever since. You know, I never had I never felt the need to upgrade because you you've heard people say, so many people say, like, oh, decks don't really make a difference. So uh, you know, I, I took that by heart and I just never upgrade. But I thought, alright, it's 2023. Had this since 2018, I think. Now, even if, if I follow this creed, oh the decks don't make a difference. I want to upgrade the deck because I want some features, like controlling the volume, you know, with the deck. Uh, also having more inputs or outputs from the deck. And also, the reason why I specifically picked this deck was because it was cheap, of course, I'm, <laughs> I'm broke. And also, I can switch op amps. And uh, there is a lot of potential in this. Uh, but yeah, I'll talk about that later. Now, let's talk about everything else other than the sound first. Uh, so yeah. Alright, so let's look at the back. So we got some uh, TRS uh, left and right outputs, uh, RCA's outputs and inputs, uh, coaxial, optical, USB, and Bluetooth. So yeah, uh, TRS, these are meant for to be speaker outputs, you know, you, you put in your speakers, but uh, it could also be balance outputs. I've been putting it, I've been connecting it to my uh, THX AAA 789, the input ba balance inputs, and they do make a difference, a volume difference. Uh, also, uh, the Bluetooth. Um, I thought I was going to love the Bluetooth because I was thinking, oh, sometimes I can connect my phone. Uh, it gets annoying because if you connect to your phone, it will automatically try to connect it without your permission. Like if you, like especially me, you know, coming back from work and you know I connected to, I'm connected to my, you know, a wireless head earbuds like you know the Feo I always uh, have. Uh, you know, if you're in reach with this, it thinks, oh, you're here. All right, I'll connect you. I don't give a shit if you're connected to another, um, you know, earbud, you know, or anything else, you know. So. It gets annoying, and I end up just unpairing it and just never touching the Bluetooth, you know? Because it gets annoying, it will automatically try to connect. So yeah. Uh, uh, there's also filters. I never use the filters, there is no difference. <laughs> like, I think I ended up in C, not because there's somewhat of a difference I hear, no, nothing. I just gave up, I'm like, alright, sure, C. That's it. That's 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 the filter I chose. So uh, the volume knob, you can control the volume through the knob in this deck. It's basically another, you know, uh, volume knob uh, other than your amp. Um, I could see it being very well used if you got a very extremely powerful, uh, you know, amp. And, you know, it's like the channel imbalances when you go very low for, like, easy to drive headphones. I could see it being well used on those circumstances. Uh, I don't really got either or either hard or easy to drive headphones that I'm using the volume up I always put it max and I control the volume through my amp so uh yeah I could see in those circumstances that those be appealing now let's talk about the best feature about this and that is the only reason why I got this is the swappable op amp so uh yeah I haven't really tried too much uh op amps uh, they, there are op amps that came with it, like these two. I did not even try. Uh, <laughs> I don't even know which one was the original one. But whatever it was the original one, I knew it on site. The the second I listened to it, it was bad. So I, I did I just did not go back. So uh, other op amps that I tried was the uh, Burson one. I used that. Remember the uh, if you guys remember uh, the Z12 review, I talked about my Burson and I used that swappable op amp. I used that amp that I was do using on the X Duo. I used that, and the main one that I used was the Sparkos. 
I forgot what number it was. The Sparkos SS3602 Dual Discrete Op Amp. Uh, I use this one mainly. I was gonna use a Burson one, but <laughs> I was running out of money. You know, I was spent. I was really just like somewhat um, mod modern modernizing my equipment. So uh, yeah, I, I just got this. Uh, let me put it up close. Oops, hit my mic. Let me put it up close. Yeah. So yeah, uh, the Sparkos was the main driver for this deck. Now we are to the question: Does it make a difference? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It 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 does. It, it it is such a significant difference between this and this. This this was nothing. All right. I remember I remember hearing it once, and already I didn't like it. Like so, I was like, "Yo, this this better make a difference." <laughs> the switching an op man better make a difference, and it did. It is it is so nice clean so noticeable and i loved it um this uh like like i said i'm not the best person to dictate what sounds amazing or what sounds like this what sounds like uh fun or neutral or just boring but i would say this is a more neutral sounding uh op amp you know it gives a neutral sound signature more laid back isn't uh you know how people would describe uh, detail horish, you know, like analytical. There we go. It's more laid back, and it makes all the music sound good. Uh, so I tried it on the uh, the Burson. The Burson had way more detail, but it was more close. The music sound more closer. You know, it, it, it didn't sound as like surround sound as this. Uh, so yeah. But I love this because it was more a uh, surround sound. What what do you call it? Everything sound sounded more like three D dimension. You know, I, I I forgot what the right word was. But yeah, uh, I love this more than the Burson. But of course, the Burson, it's more for like maybe like portable uh, users. I should have gotten the uh, the Burson V six dual, but like I said, I didn't have that much money. I didn't have enough money to experiment. I was going to do it, but uh, yeah, I, I couldn't. But I think this was the right choice, you know. Uh, it's, there was There's no coloring. There's nothing they're adding or making it worse. It's nice and neutral, so where every song sounds amazing, you know. So, yeah. My really, just really noticeable difference. It, it made me question, like... Why haven't like it made me question made me question the hi-fi industry because it's like yo, why isn't everybody doing this? <laughs> it's it's like um uh, like why am I not able to swap op amps? You know, like why can I just yeah sure all right fine you just some um, uh, make me spend like five hundred dollars on an op amp but let me switch it let me switch it with something better and I'm also surprised how come no one's making their own type of op amp you know. Uh, there's probably there's probably reasons, but like it's like why is there more? I, I there's only Burson and Sparkos that I that I noticed. They're the only two main players that are making their own op amp. I want to see more. So yeah, my really big ass difference. Now, uh, if you probably are noticing, it's like all right, how do you deal with uh, the size over here? Look at this. If you notice, uh, it's not flat. If I put it upside down, it will touch the op amp. And you're probably wondering, what do I do with it? Well, it sits like this. <laughs> it sits on top of my Rebel amp the entire time. I put um a box. <laughs> I put a box on top of it so it doesn't scratch, you know, the metal on metal. Let me see. Yeah, no scratches. Yeah, it sits on my Rebel amp. And no scratches on it. Yeah, it's it's worth <laughs> it's worth it. I'm not I'm not gonna take it off. Shit, I was I was really hoping to buy like rubber feet so I can put it on the bottom, but I haven't really found any that I liked. I wanted kind of like a more like not like a heel, but more m longer but thicker. You know, it's not like it's piercing through the middle on the rebel. You know, so yeah. 
I keep it like this because it's 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 worth it's worth it. <laughs> I, I I keep it like I keep it there and I keep it like this because it sounds amazing. It's worth it. So yeah, I love it. I, I really want to switch with other op amps, but I can't. <laughs> like I said, um. So I notice when I am um, uh, switched it with this, um. I own a th so you, you you know you guys know I own like three headphones I own my uh, Focal Elex and the uh, Sennheiser HD six XX. There's a third headphone that I own. That is the uh, what is it called? Dan Clark uh, Aeon Two Closed. I haven't really used that much because um, I thought you know oh. Maybe my um uh, my THX triple A six seven eight nines, they're not as powerful. They can't really like um you know give it that. But I noticed once I switched the deck, it sounded amazing on the t uh, the THX um uh, seven eight nines. So I was like, oh wow. So decks do make a difference, you know? Maybe or maybe <laughs> it's especially because of the op amp. You know, it made that headphone sound amazing. Previously, you know, I was like, damn, man, I wasted like $700 on headphones I don't use. Now I used it. I love it. I don't use it as much because, you know, I thought maybe I thought I was going to love the closed version because, you know, oh, you know, when I'm editing or doing stuff, I don't hear the background. But it's harder to record on a closed headphone because I can't really hear myself, you know. It's now, it's like, oh man, uh, I like having open headphones whenever I record myself, you know. But yeah, that sounds amazing. That Those um, Aeon 2 flows sound, 2 on close sound amazing on, you know, this with my uh, Rebel Op Amp. So, yeah, I love it. I think it's worth uh, buying it. You know, I've, 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 you know, I've did so much research on it. People were talking about, like, this was the amp people are talking about, like, is it worth buying a $600 amp when you could just buy a $300 amp or maybe even cheaper when it's on sale or used and just switch it with the op amp? I've heard, I've seen, I've seen videos, I've seen, you know, articles, reviews, everybody is talking about, you know, like switch to the op amp, it's noticeable. So yeah, I think it's a worthy buy. I love it. Uh, I'm very, ex uh, I'm, ex I'm excited, you know, eventually maybe I can switch this op amp and hear a noticeable difference with, with other ones. So yeah, goodbye. Look at this shit, guys. Look at this shit. What the fuck did I do? Look what the fuck, look what the fuck I did, guys. What the fuck? I blew it. I blew it. <laughs> it was dry. And I blew the dry part for some reason. I was like, ooh, that's a little bit hot. By nature, I blew it and all the fucking dust. I'm a dumbass. I... Oh.